Yesterday, I announced that we would be extending our social distance guidelines through the end of April. This is based on modeling that shows the peak in fatalities will not arrive for another two weeks. The same modeling also shows that by very vigorously following these guidelines, we could save more than one million American lives. Think of that, one million American lives. Our future is in our own hands, and the choices and sacrifices we make will determine the fate of this virus and, really, the fate of our victory. We will have a great victory. We have no other choice. Every one of us has a role to play in winning this war. Every citizen, family, and business can make the difference in stopping the virus. This is our shared patriotic duty. Challenging times are ahead for the next 30 days, and this is a very vital 30 days. We're sort of putting it all on the line, this 30 days. So important because we have to get back. But the more we dedicate ourselves today, the more quickly we will emerge on the other side of the crisis, and that's the time we're waiting for. The more we commit ourselves now, the sooner we can win the fight and return to our lives, and they will be great lives, maybe better than ever. Today, we reached a historic milestone in our war against the coronavirus. Over one million Americans have now been tested, more than any other country by far, not even close, and tested accurately. And then we have so many more. The FDA has also authorized the Batils, uh N95 respirator mask sterilization kits. It's uh, an incredible thing. I've been asking, why are we throwing these masks away? You look at some of these masks, and they're significant pieces of equipment. And I say, how come you throw them away? Why aren't they using sterilization techniques? And uh, I got a call from Mike DeWine, the governor of Ohio. And he's a tremendous guy, tremendous governor. And he said, we have a company named Batil, and they're having a hard time getting approval from the FDA. And I called up Dr. Hahn, and within a very short period of time, they got the approval. Steve, we really appreciate it. I want to thank Mike, and I want to thank Steve. And uh, they're going to be able, each machine now can disinfect 120,000 masks per day. Now, think of that. Each machine can disinfect 120,000 masks per day. It'll be just like a new one. It can go up to about 20 times for each mask. So each mask can go through this process 20 times. And they have uh, two in Ohio, one in New York, and one will soon be shipped to Seattle, Washington, and also uh, to Washington, D.C. So that's going to make a tremendous difference on the masks. And nearly 3,000 medical beds will become operational. The U.S. Navy ship Comfort also arrived today, equipped with 12 operating rooms and 1,000 hospital beds. Work has begun on additional temporary hospital sites, including a 600-bed capacity nursing home facility in Brooklyn and numerous floors of a high-rise building on Wall Street. So it's been really uh, pretty amazing what they've done. The Army Corps of Engineers, what they've done, They've done they, — they just completed, think of it, a 2,900-bed hospital in New York in just about three days, maybe four days. And the whole city's talking about it. On top of that, we floated in a great ship, which is going to be a 1,000 rooms, which is being used for uh, patients outside of what we're focused on, and that will free up a lot of rooms for what we're focused on. So it's been great. The Army Corps of Engineers has awarded contracts for the construction of alternate care facilities also at the State University at Stony Brook, State University Old Westbury, and the Westchester Community Center. We're sending 60 ambulances to New York City today. We have a total of 60. We're getting some additional ones, with up to 190 more to follow at different locations. Uh, to date, FEMA has obligated more than $1.3 million — billion dollars in federal support to the State of New York. So we're spending a lot of money in New York. It's a hot 
It's a hotbed. There's no question about it. And we're spending a lot of time, effort on New York, New Jersey. Spoke with Governor Cuomo a lot. Spoke with Governor Murphy a lot in New Jersey. And we're, uh, we're really getting the job done. People are very impressed, and I'm very impressed by the people in FEMA, the people in the Army Corps of Engineers, because what they've done, I've never seen anybody do anything like it. In addition to the 8,100 ventilators that we've already delivered over the next 48 hours, we're delivering more than 1,000. We're going 400 ventilators are going to Michigan very shortly, 300 going to New Jersey, 150 ventilators to Illinois, 150 to Louisiana, and 50 to Connecticut. FEMA and HHS already delivered 11.6 million N95 respirators, 26 million surgical masks, 5.3 million face shields, 4.4 million surgical gowns, and 22 million gloves. And I don't know if you just saw, it just came over the wires that Ford just announced just a little while ago that they will produce, along with General Electric Healthcare, 50,000 ventilators, and they're going to be doing it in less than 100 days. And top of that, we have other companies that are doing ventilators, including General Motors. But we have uh, nine other companies doing ventilators. As we outpace what we need, we're going to be sending them to Italy. We're going to be sending them to France. We're going to be sending them to Spain, where they have tremendous problems, and other countries as we, as we can. Satyum. पिछले दो दिनों से देश के अनेक भागों में लॉकडाउन कर दिया गया है राज्य सरकार के इन प्रयासों को बहुत गंभीरता से लेना चाहिए हेल्थ सेक्टर के एक्सपर्ट्स और अन्य देशों के अनुभवों को ध्यान में रखते हुए देश आज एक महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय करने जा रहा है आज रात आज रात 12 बजे से पूरे देश में ध्यान से सुनिए पूरे देश में आज रात 12 बजे से संपूर्ण देश में संपूर्ण लॉकडाउन होने जा रहा है हिंदुस्तान को बचाने के लिए हिंदुस्तान के हर नागरिक को बचाने के लिए आपको बचाने के लिए आपके परिवार को बचाने के लिए आज रात 12 बजे से घरों से बाहर निकलने पर पूरी तरह पाबंदी लगाई जा रही है देश के हर राज्य को हर केंद्र शासित प्रदेश को हर जिले हर गांव हर कस्बे हर गली मोहल्ले को अब लॉकडाउन किया जा रहा है ये एक तरह से कर्फ्यू ही है जनता कर्फ्यू से भी कुछ कदम आगे की बात जनता कर्फ्यू से जरा ज्यादा सख्त कोरोना महामारी के खिलाफ निर्णायक लड़ाई के लिए ये कदम अब बहुत आवश्यक है निश्चित तौर पर इन लॉकडाउन की एक आर्थिक कीमत देश को उठानी पड़ेगी लेकिन एक एक भारतीय के जीवन को बचाना आपके जीवन को बचाना आपके परिवार को बचाना इस समय मेरी भारत सरकार की देश की हर राज्य सरकार की हर स्थानीय निकाय की सबसे बड़ी प्राथमिकता है और इसलिए मेरी आपसे प्रार्थना है और मैं हाथ जोड़ के प्रार्थना करता हूं कि आप इस समय 
देश में जहां भी हैं वहीं रहे अभी के हालात को देखते हुए देश में ये लॉकडाउन 21 दिन का होगा तीन सप्ताह का होगा और जब मैंने पिछली बार आपसे बात की थी तब मैंने आपसे कहा था कि मैं आपसे कुछ सप्ताह मांगने के लिए आया हूं आने वाले 21 दिन हर नागरिक के लिए हर परिवार के लिए बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है हेल्थ एक्सपर्ट्स की माने तो कोरोना वायरस की संक्रमण साइकिल तोड़ने के लिए कम से कम 21 दिन का समय बहुत अहम है अगर ये 21 दिन नहीं संभले तो देश और आपका परिवार 21 साल पीछे चला जाएगा अगर ये 21 दिन नहीं संभले तो कई परिवार हमेशा हमेशा के लिए तबाह हो जाएंगे और मैं ये बात एक प्रधानमंत्री के तौर पर नहीं आपके परिवार के सदस्य के नाते कह रहा हूं इसलिए बाहर निकलना क्या होता है ये इन इक्कीस दिनों के लिए भूल जाइए घर में रहे घर में रहे और एक ही काम करें कि अपने घर में ही रहें 